Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Freely. So today's video, we're going to be talking about lenses and what the heck all of them are for. So I know it can be a little overwhelming when you're first getting into like photography and videography and seeing all the different lenses and seeing all the different names for the lenses like prime lenses, zoom lenses, telephoto lenses. I can understand it can be very overwhelming. I was very overwhelmed at first. So my goal for this video is to make it a little bit more easier to understand, especially when you're first starting out. But before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm Freely and I make videos about cameras, including tutorials and reviews with a main focus on the Canon 50, but not limited to that. If any of that interests you, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. So the way I think about the different lenses and how I keep myself from being overwhelmed by it is that every single lens has a certain use. So some are like multi-tools where they do multiple different things and some are just like singular tools where they're only used for that type of thing but can be flexible and used for other things. So these are basically tools and when you're looking at lenses, just think of them as tools that you can get a job done. And some can do jobs that other lenses can do and some can do jobs that other lenses can't do. So it's just tools, just think of it that way. So I actually did some research on this topic of all the different lenses. So I found that there's a lot of categories when it comes to lenses. So if you guys wanna look at the websites that I got most of this information from, they'll all be in the description. So you guys can reference them and read like the full article where I pulled all this information from. So let's get into the very first type of lens and that's going to be the prime lens. So this right here is a nifty 50 as it's called but it's a 50 millimeter prime lens and what a prime lens means is that it can't change focal length so it's pretty much stuck at 50 millimeters. Just think of it as a lens that can't move and it's just stuck. It's stuck in its prime. I guess you could say. I don't know if that works. <laughs> and moving on, the other type of lens is a zoom lens. So for example, a zoom lens would be like any kind of lens that goes from one focal length to another. So for example, this would be considered a zoom lens. Prime lenses can't change their focal length. Zoom lenses can. So that's just a basic understanding and how I think of it. Hopefully it's easy for you guys to understand. But wait, Prime and zoom lenses can further be broken down into these following different categories. So the first one is going to be a macro lens. So these lenses are used for super high detail, super close up shots of like insects or like flowers. If you wanna see like the pollen on a bee, super up close. Those lenses are used for those situations. So the next category is going to be telephoto lenses. For me, I was very, very confused that zoom lenses weren't the same as um, telephoto lenses. So I did a little research and I found an answer on photo.stackexchange.com. I didn't even know that photo had a stack exchange. Anyways, I found this really good response from someone and I'm just gonna read it out so you guys can fully understand it. The focal length of a lens determines the field of view of your camera. If it has a long focal length, it has a narrow field of view, making the things in front of you appear large in a photograph. If it has a short focal length, it has a large field of view. It's a wide angle lens that takes a large area, making objects appear small. Small. So he's kind of describing what a focal length is and what the difference between a narrow field of view and a wide field of view. So he goes on, a zoom lens is a lens whose focal length can change. You twist the barrel or push the switch on the camera and it takes a narrower or wider field of view making objects appear bigger or smaller. So a zoom lens would be a lens just like this where you twist it and it makes it a more narrow field of view. The term telephoto lens has a particular technical meaning in terms of lens design, but in common usages, it refers to a lens with a long focal length. So a zoom lens could zoom from a short wide angle to a long telephoto focal length, making things look bigger the closer you zoom in. Or it could zoom from an extreme wide angle to a moderate wide angle, never coming close to a telephoto focal length or any other range of focal length. So breaking down that paragraph it's kind of complicated so for example we can take this 15 to 45 lens this is a zoom lens because it can zoom from a very wide which is 15 to a 45 which is kind of like mid-range so this would be considered a zoom lens but it will not be considered a telephoto lens and the reason why is because telephoto is typically considered like 70 millimeters and higher so anything above 70 millimeters is going to end up 
being considered a telephoto. So this is a zoom lens, but it's not necessarily a telephoto lens. I can better illustrate this is this monster right here. This is a zoom telephoto lens. So it zooms, it goes 70 to 200, but it's also telephoto because it goes from that 70 telephoto range all the way up to 200 millimeters. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna continue on and just finish this off because he makes really good points. So a zoom equals a focal length that you can change and a telephoto equals a long focal length. A lens can be one or the other or neither or both. There's a lot of like um, different terms and a lot of different things to understand, but don't let that de deter you from this distinction between zoom and telephoto. And finishing this off, it says, the focal length is normally measured in millimeters. A zoom lens will have two measurements. For example, 18 to 200, or in my case, 70 to 200, 24 to 70. 18 to 200 is a wide angle to a telephoto zoom. It zooms from a short focal length of 18 millimeters to a long focal length of 200 millimeters. A non-zoom lens, also called a prime lens, so for example, this um, 50 mil prime, will have a single focal length, for example, 135 millimeter, but like I just said, the 50 millimeter prime. So don't get overwhelmed between the distinction between zoom and telephoto. You don't need to fully understand it because in the end, it doesn't really matter what each of these are called. Well, what's important is that one can zoom and one doesn't zoom and one has a longer focal length and the other ha one has a shorter focal length. So really, you don't need to pay attention too much on the wording, just focus on what each of these lenses can do. So the next category of lenses that I'm gonna talk about is wide angle lenses. So these are considered um, anywhere from 35 millimeters and below. So 24 millimeters to 35 is considered a standard wide focal length. 24 to 16 millimeter is what they usually refer to as wide angle. And anything below 16, so 15 just like this um, M50 is considered ultra wide. So yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory. Anything under 35 is going to be considered wide, very wide, and standard wide. So this is actually a very easy one to understand. The next category is going to be standard lenses. So this one I didn't even know existed, but basically it's a lens that can be used for a variety of situations. So for example, I'm guessing that this would be considered a standard lens because it kind of falls in the middle, but kind of it, it falls on the wide side because it goes to 24, but uh, has a very wide range. It goes all the way wide to 24, but it also goes very zoomed in to 70. So it's it kind of hits both ends of the spectrum slightly, leaning a little bit more to the wide side. It says that these type of lenses usually sit in between wide angle lenses and telephoto lenses. So like I said, 35 to 70. So it kind of sits right in the middle and can be used for just a variety of different situations. And the last category is going to be specialty lenses. So this includes anything from fisheye lenses, infrared lenses, tilt shift lenses, and just all the other different lenses that don't quite fit into all the other categories. They all pretty much dump into the specialty lenses. So like I said not too long ago, don't get caught up in trying to um, categorize what lens is what because really what really matters is what all these lenses can do and if you can understand what all these lenses can do then that's totally a lot more useful than knowing what each lens is called. So now I'm just gonna go through all the lenses that my dad has um, and just kind of talk about what this certain lens is and what it's good for and a couple of test photos if I can find some. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is this 50 millimeter 1.8. This is what they would call the nifty 50 because it's a really good focal length at 50. It's really good for portraits. So it's awesome for portraits, but it's also at 1.8. So you get some really, really good um, background blur or what they call bokeh or bokeh or however you <laughs> pronounce that. So this is a really good lens. Uh, this is made by Canon. I know that the autofocus on this lens is a little bit loud. So this is a really great place to start if you're just getting into cameras and you just want a lens that's not your kit lens 
This is really great for portraits. So yeah, definitely check it out. And by the way, if you guys are interested in any of these lenses, I'll have them all linked down in the description below. So definitely check them out. All right, so this next lens is going to be the 15 to 35. It's basically the kit lens that comes with the Canon M50. It's a, it's honestly, it's a really good lens. It goes uh, 15 to 45. Um, this is what you would call a zoom lens. And this has pretty much been my daily driver for my M50 ever since I got it. And it's a really, I don't know, it's just a really, really good lens. All right, so this next one is the 24 to 70. Um, I talked about this in the video, but it's a zoom lens and it's a very, very versatile lens. So this goes down to f 2.8. So with that 2.8, you can get some really blurry backgrounds, but it also gives you the flexibility to go, you know, really zoomed in at 70, and but at, at the same time, very wide at 24. So this is a really, really good lens. Uh, it's very sharp and pretty awesome. Okay, so the next lens we're gonna be talking about is the 24 to 105 f4. So this is also a very versatile lens. Um, it's a zoom lens. This is a little bit more wider um, compared to the 24 to 70. This goes all the way up to 105, so it's a lot more closer to a telephoto lens. But the, I guess the downside would be that it's f4, but that's not necessarily a downside because you can get some very, very sharp photos with this lens. So yeah, another highly recommended lens. All right, so this next one is a monster of a lens. So this is the 70 to 200 uh, f 2.8. So this is really good so for really getting close to your subjects from afar. So this goes from 70 to 200. It's a very, I guess, narrow focal length lens. And this goes all the way to 2.8, which is really, really great for that blurry background. Um, this is probably one of my favorite lenses to shoot with because you can get some really, really nice photos with this lens. So if your budget um, has room for this lens, definitely go for it. And this last lens we're gonna be talking about is the fish eye lens. This is by Tokina. Um, this is officially goes from 10 millimeters to 17. So this is a very, very wide lens and you can get some really, really cool shots with this lens. And I think this is my dad's favorite lens that he's ever got because you can get some really cool photos with it. Uh, I really like it too. It's very, very wide. But for video, I have seen that it doesn't quite work well with the Canon M50. But um, for photos, it's definitely um, a winner in that category. So going through all those lenses, which lens should you get? Honestly, it's really up to you. I'd say um, start with the Nifty 50 right here, the 50 millimeter 1.8, because it's just a really good starting point and it's pretty cheap. Um, last time I checked. But yeah, this is a really good lens to start with um, if you really need some suggestions. If you guys found some value in this video, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing if you like more content just like this. If you guys want to learn more about cameras, I made several playlists on my channel talking all about cameras. So definitely check it out if you're interested in that. With all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.